Wow. You look amazing. Um, is this the year 11 COA, not the year 13 one? Because you, I did say at the rehearsal, go, go away and, and make yourself look amazing, but you have surpassed yourself. Look fantastic. Well, everybody, welcome to the year 11 celebration of achievement evening here. It marks the culmination of five years of the lives of these young people here at Harris City Academy Crystal Palace. Um, and as I've repeatedly said to the students in assemblies, around the school, in focus group meetings every day, this academy is a place of incredible opportunity. And, and this evening is a formal opportunity for you to be recognized for seizing that opportunity and to be duly rewarded for it. Whether it be recognition for the staff for your effort whilst you've been here, or achievement, or for the special talent that you may have. But I know that you've been told many, many times what's expected of you and what you're capable of achieving. Your teachers, in fact, all the staff here have worked tirelessly with you to ensure that you achieve your full potential. And your parents and carers as well have worked with us to make sure that you get here on time, that you make the most of these opportunities. And I'm really, really, really proud to say that the fact that you are sitting here this evening as people who I really genuinely am proud to say have made Crystal Palace what it is. So, now to introduce you to the hosts for this evening, and they are Deslin, Terry, and Connor. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Year 11 Celebration of Achievement Evening for 2014. You will look absolutely wonderful tonight. <laughs> the 4th of September 2009 was the day that life changed for many of us. Faced with the prospect of moving from primary school, which was oh so familiar, to becoming little fish in a big pond, no one knew how the next five years would turn out. Little did we know that at the end of this secondary school experience, we would have faced some of the toughest challenges of our existence and emerged bigger and better than we were before. Year seven began with us trying to get to grips with one-way systems, feeling like the richest person in the school when you won five vivos, and, and sharing all of the stories of the ever so stressful SATS tests. As well as it being the year of new environments, it was also our most fashionable year. Extreme color coordination was rife. If you had on a blue top, you would never even dream about wearing a different color in your outfit. Even your umbrella had to match, no exceptions. <laughs> year nine saw us begin in the life of GCSEs. Needless to say, this was a completely different environment to that of the comfy, carefree, brightly colored year seven and eight. We suddenly had coursework deadlines, study support, and having to actually remember the things we were being taught because they were important to us for our exams. However, even though the workload got heavier, we still managed to remain the bubbly, upbeat people at heart. And now it's our final COA. I, for one, never believed I would get to this stage. I remember dancing at Spring Fling in the canteen, feeling so grown up, and even understanding the concept of GCSEs. Never did I think that the present would become the past so quickly. And although this year has been so work orientated and we've constantly been reminded you haven't got much time left, I've still managed to gain friendships which I know will last for life. Throughout the years, we have fought hard but also loved hard as a year group and have dealt with many arguments, breakups and heartaches. However, I believe that's what makes our year a family. Even if we leave here today and never see or speak to each other again, I'm sure that we can all say that for the five years we were at Harris, we were a crazy, outrageous family that shared many moments of joy and happiness. So, before we go on any further with this evening's celebrations, let's take a look back at where it all began. We have come to that point in the evening where each tutor is going to introduce their tutor groups and reveal who has won the coveted Best in Tutor Group prize, starting with 11AA. So, I invite Ms. Thompson to the same.
11AA. Before I introduce my tutor group for the last time, so I would like to say a few words about one of them. This student is hardworking, friendly and helpful. This student has really matured this year and he has been seen planning revision, working with others and is always polite in the morning. What would 11AA be without Jack Murray? <laughs> Now for 11AA as a whole. Over the past five years, they've challenged me and each other, made me laugh and sometimes cry, and have always been the best reason to come into work in the mornings. Ladies and gentlemen, parents, teachers, and assorted hangers-on, I give you Tamsin Adabomi. Maliha Ahmad. <laughs> Prince Ajithnath. <laughs> Rhea Burnett. <laughs> Richard Carter. Matthew Dallas. <laughs> Hugh Duff. <laughs> Joycene Griffiths. <laughs> Bonnie Hicks. <laughs> Mariam Jether. Terry Kennedy Smith. <laughs> Luca Koss. Jack Murray. India Nixon. Theo Oakley. I am Ikan Okumbayeja. Alana Redmond. Shireen Rose. And Jermaine Tomlin. five years. As they stand here tonight, it seems like only yesterday they were timid little year sevens. I'm very proud of you all tonight as you stand in here looking like grown-ups. Thank you for being such a brilliant tutor group. It's been a real pleasure seeing you develop over the last five years. As always, the Tutor of the Year Award has been a difficult decision as many of you could have been awarded it for a variety of reasons. The person I have chosen is a student who is a real people person. They take their time to ensure they are a friendly face to whoever may need it, and they are always polite towards staff. They are extremely hardworking and very mature. This person has applied themselves fully into academy life and is a true asset to themselves, their parents, and the school. I am proud that this person has been a part of 11AP. This person has been a prefect, a sports captain, and a school council member. If I had to sum up this person in a couple of words, I would describe him as a true gentleman. My tutee of the ward a year is for Lee Van Dahi. Okay, 
Okay, so let's take the final register for 11AP, Sarah Ali. <laughs> Daniel Boateng. <laughs> Ray Bushell. <laughs> Stefano Capone. Chen. <laughs> Lee Van Dahir. <laughs> Sarah Louise Davila. <laughs> Lamar Dwyer. <laughs> Devon Dwyer. Rebecca Hooper. <laughs> Letitia King. <laughs> Lewis Kirk. <laughs> Marijo Mossim. <laughs> Nathan Obiori. Jurademi Okabayejo, Shania Owusu Osai, Alexander Proud, Farron Quinn, Zeb Sajad. Moe Samakula Buza. Andrew Sperling. And Ashley Trotman. entertaining form to have spent every morning with over the last two years and are going to miss their enthusiasm, energy and interest for all things in life in general. It was a very difficult decision to decide who 11CB's duty of the year is but this person is someone who is quite a quiet student but conscientious and is always polite to all members of staff. He was always on time to school and across subjects, teachers have commented on his hard-working approach and commitment to his studies. And so, 11CB's GT of the year is Franklin Fairbrass. <laughs> Let me introduce to you 11CB. Daniel Bolden Hibbert. <laughs> Stefan Bridge Nelson. <laughs> Franklin Fairbrass. <laughs> Tallulah Gordon. <laughs> Aaliyah Green. <laughs> Ashley Harrison, <laughs> Emily Howe, <laughs> Terrell Izirin, <laughs> Reese Johnson, <laughs> Desling Karanke of <laughs> Matthias Lewis, Woo! 
Ashwari Mahadia. Michael Mays. George McNaughton Ennis. Imani Name Blemon. Louise Parmenta. Ariane Pele. Rebecca Shaw. Jonathan Wallace. Matthew Wilson. Good evening, everybody. I'm going to start with straight away the duty of the year. Uh, it's been another very difficult choice this year, as it is every year with 11CK. This person has been extremely positive and a proactive person, not just this year, but in their time right through from year seven to year 11. And indeed, they've been involved in many aspects of the school, well beyond their very hard work in the classroom. In the mornings, she has been the epitome of helpfulness and a ray of positivity. The 11CK Duty of the Year Award goes to Jasmine Holder. Well done, Jasmine. Dear 11CK, it has been a genuine pleasure to be with the tutor group from the end of year seven up to year 11. The changes and development in all of you over the years has been striking, but one constant has remained. You're a group of unique individuals and characters who've always been extremely comfortable and very good nature in the company of one another. As with any journey, there have been bumps in the road along the way, but I have really enjoyed being your tutor and have had a relatively easy job as your great bunch of students and individuals. You've really shown it all over the years and together we have witnessed high achievers, diligent hard workers, impressive vivo earners, talented musicians, student mentors, student commissioners, prefects, exceptional scientists, travelers, netballers, rugby players, athletes, Photoshop experts, creative and winning PXS project makers, caring nurturers, smiling helpers, fashion gurus, aspiring comedians, and you know who you are, and the establishmentarians. I wish you all the very best for the exams, results day, and far beyond. To the mighty 11 CK are J Acharya, Molly Bailey, Paris Brock, Oliver Chu. Joshua Cresswell. Can we have a nice big round of applause in his absence, Ali Hassan Dalal, who's not here. Peter Etherington. Isabella Hudson. Jasmine Holder. Freya Hyde. Tanisha Mullins. Sarah Newman. Asher Mehmet. Nadine Norden. Kabilan Parmeshwaran.
Akshaya Rajagopal. Leo Renix Gordon. Dion Riyad Forbes. Nicole Sims Davis. Maria St. V. Katie Stevens. Jamal Velji. And last but not least, Byron Withers. Okay, I'm gonna start off with uh, people of the year. Um, I remember these people being very shy in their first years at Harris Academy, however, a lot more confident now. And it's been really evident in the form periods. This pupil is very sociable and liked by the whole form so much that this name was put forward by a lot of the form rather than saying their own names. This pupil always has a smile on their face, comes into the form room early in the morning then either start singing, dancing, telling jokes, or a mixture of all of those things. I've not heard a negative word from any of the staff or pupils about this person, rather a lot of positive words. This pupil also has their emotional times. For example, I heard emotional statements like, this is the last Tuesday form period we'll all be together. This is the last time we'll all be in the assembly hall and tons like that. I hope this person continues living their life in their same happy style. I'm sure they'll fit in well with any people. The star of the form this year is looking awesome, just like the rest of year 11s. The person I'm talking about is Holly Render. <laughs> for a whole form. Uh, you've come a long way in the four years I've known you. Um, it's really hard actually to say this. I don't think I was gonna actually get a little bit funny about it, but it is actually pretty tough. Okay, um, in all my years of teaching, you have been my favorite tutor group. I can honestly say that I'm privileged to know you, such a fantastic group of pupils. Right from the outset, I can say I found you to be very friendly and a boisterous group. You are a form that shows all kinds of attributes, such as being hardworking, mature, responsible, enthusiastic, but more importantly, you are kind, polite, caring, and genuine people. There's some real talent here and a lot of potential, so make sure you dream and pursue your dreams with everything you've got. You're still young and have got everything in front of you. Be exactly what you want to be. People will write you off. Don't listen to them, just work hard. You will always be able to hold your head up high. I'm going to miss you all. And thanks for being such a great, caring tutor group. Good luck. Katrina Bakiri. <laughs> Naomi Carty. <laughs> Rihanna Davis. <laughs> Kyle Douglas Bright.
Connor Trigoy. <laughs> Nush Fratali Eman Books. <laughs> Martin Brady. <laughs> Rashan Grant. Daniel Hillman. <laughs> Terry Ann Macro. Anna Main. Anya Navratnam. Naomi Palfreman. <laughs> Mahima Bakti Patel. <laughs> Holly Rendell. <laughs> Leo Rigby. Mehmet Cesare. <laughs> Phoebe Starbuck. <laughs> Natasha Thompson. <laughs> also, I just want to quick mention, for someone who wasn't here, Robert Sakala. Next for 11SS, um, I'm going to keep this a bit short because you all know how much I think of you. Um, so you have been the best part of my week every morning for the last three years. Um, you have given me the energy to, to get through the rest of every day, so you've been amazing. And we've had many jokes, we've shared lots of stories, and hopefully you might have learned some stuff sometimes. What I most like about this tutor group is that uh, this is a group that when I was away, they had a party in my room. What I love about them is that they were clever enough to firstly not get caught, secondly to keep the volume low, but most impressively, they took the register for me so that I wouldn't get caught. So I love them for that reason. Choosing the duty of the year was incredibly difficult. Um, I would say it's difficult every year because you are the best group in this year, and so there's so many people to choose from. Um, I finally chose this person for their quiet and understated impact on the group. Uh, this person's attendance is uh, nearly 100%. They were always the first in. This person was always happy to help and volunteer. They would arrange for the Christmas decorations to be put up each year. They were also the person to suggest making cards for any teacher who might be leaving. They're very, very thoughtful and always happy to help. This person has brought the two tea bag to every classroom, every day, every year that she has been here. So for that, and all of the rest, I would like to award the duty of the year this year to Debiga Kananaka. <laughs> so, first off, it is Ada Duni Ada Basui. Darnell Agbamu Tarawana. <laughs> Kai Barton. <laughs> Here on time, it's Nathan Benjamin. <laughs> J. 
Jack Collins. Meta Tabashi. Elsa Gaia. Matthew Hatchi. Michaela James. Topeka Kananathan. Ricardo King. Beth, Beth McWatt. Ashley Noel Hurst. Kai Ogilvy. Aziza Alamadu Robinson. Anton Reed. Daniela Santos. Matilda Trevitt. And Alice Van Cliff. And Vanessa Watkins. Good evening. I'd like to introduce Eleven TV. I'm going to start with the Cheesy of the Year Award. I've only had Eleven TV, unfortunately, for one year. Um, the person that's going to get the award this year, the second I walked into the room in September, she had a beaming smile on her face. She's very dedicated to her studies and she's got a very bright future ahead of her. Eleven TV's Cheesy of the Year, Sana Harrison is here. <laughs> Just a few words about Eleven TV. Uh, last year, Mr. Coe asked me to be your cheater, and I'm very glad that he did. I've enjoyed every single morning I've had with you, and I wish you all the best in the future. For the last time, Patrick Baxter. <laughs> Chloe Bishop. <laughs> Matari Brooks. Deshaun Isaacs, <laughs> Sophia Jack, <laughs> Kevin Lian, <laughs> Rihanna Main, <laughs> Alexander Owens. Elena Rickards, <laughs> Kyle Sung, <laughs> Abdul Sheikh, 
Talani Simpson. Rebecca Swinton. And Agatha Wessick. Thank you. Uh, finally, I'd just like to say, because I know they'd want me to, um, their true tutor is Miss Barr. And I know they are very thankful all that she did for them as a tutor group. Thank you. Okay. Before I introduce the magnificent 11TP, I would like to say a few words about the GT of the year. The GT of the year goes to a person who has shown great dedication to their studies and school life. They are highly motivated, diligent and always willing to help others. They received many positive comments from teachers and are a great role model for this school. Every morning, without fail, there's a polite knock at the door and there they are, bright and energetic, ready to crack on with their work before tutor time. A very diverse deserving winner for 11 TP's Cheaty of the Year goes to Shad Jabba. <laughs> now, before I introduce the pleasure of having 11 TP on stage, this is me ad hoc. I'm a bit nervous, as you can tell, but I'm so proud of each and every one of you. And I know that um, Miss Sagan, they've had them, she, uh, they have had Miss Sagan for year seven, and she's over there waving. <laughs> it's, it's been hard, but they've welcomed me to the group. They've been always hardworking, fantastic laugh. And um, if you want to read my speech, it's under Mr. Shank's face. Um, 11 TB, I do love you too. Okay. So, I have now the pleasure of introducing 11 TB, Joshua Adelowo. <laughs> Round of applause, please, for the absent Rassus Atalu. Nathan Aubrey. Jay Boys. Uma Karana Carson. Ben Jewison. Isabel Heat. Jamie Fisher. Laura Gaskell Mew. Elliot Henry Hughes. Yasmin Hodson. Yildan Hussein. Shad, sorry, Shad Jabba. Elliot Omari. Destiny Peters. <laughs> Jade Robinson Akonya. <laughs> Amit Sinandan. <laughs> Ramana Sharif. <laughs> Melissa Shearer. Bradley Sims. Bradley Stevenson. Samantha Aguanya. And Luke Walden. students who won best in tutor group. Don't worry if you haven't won an award yet because there are plenty more prizes still to be given out. Before we move on
on to the presentations for the Best Progress Awards, we continue with this evening's entertainment. Please welcome to the stage, performing One Summer's Day, Kevin Leanne. Biology, Roshan Grant. For business, Isabella Hodson.
highest award for English is Luke Warden. The Progress Award for Food goes to Naomi Palfram. For French, Ben Jewison.
And finally, the Progress Award for Textiles goes to Mishwari Mahida. Daniela Santos. <laughs> English, Alice Van Cliff. Abdul Sheikh. For Mandarin, Nathan Obiori. Shereen Rose.
physics, Hugh Duff. For resistant materials, Terry Kennedy Smith. For the Science Double Award, Vanessa Watkins. And for the Single Award, Lewis Kerr. For Spanish, Rebecca Swinton. And finally, for textiles, Matilda Trevitt. <laughs> Could we give all of our best and subject winners a huge round of applause? Sorry folks, it's uh, totally my fault. We missed somebody out on the Progress Award, so for uh, Chemistry Progress Award, Kevin Liang.
Give it up for the master, Ashley Norhurst. One of my responsibilities this year has been to work with the Year 11 Prefects, who are now going to show their logistical skills by lining up on this side of the stage, please. It's... It's been a real pleasure. It's been a real pleasure to work with such polite, positive role models on things like. Just wait down there, It's been a real pleasure to work with such polite uh, individuals on things like assemblies, parents' evenings, and the Jack Petchy Awards. And it's traditional at the Year 11 COA to give a final vote of thanks to the prefects for all their hard work as their uh, year of service formally draws to a close. So please show your appreciation for Richard Carter, India Nixon, <laughs> Rebecca Hooper and Libinda here, Imani Nain Blenman and George McNaughton Ellis, Sarah Newman and Kabbalan Paramaswaran, Phoebe Starbuck and Connor Drogoy. Michaela James and Ashley Noel Hurst. Helena Rickard and Patrick Baxter. Yordan Hussein and Amit Kumar Sinandan. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank our new head boy and head girl who have helped out this evening. They're sat over there, Fleur and Rashan. Can we give them a round of applause? And also to say thank you to our three brilliant hosts for this evening. Haven't they done a brilliant job? Deslin, Terry, and Connor.
So, now it's time for our final musical performance of the evening. Singing The Call, please put your hands together for Rhea Burnett, accompanied by Richard Carter on the piano. Little did we know that we couldn't be sleeping. 
living in the Hilton Hotel with access to a swimming pool, steam room, jacuzzi and sauna. But the main event was the athletics. We all exceeded our potentials despite being against some tough competition and came very respectable seventh. However, we can say that we were seventh best athletics team in the country. back to the stage for the final awards this evening, we'd like to say a really big thank you to Mr. Jarrett and Mr. Slee for putting together the videos for tonight and also for their fabulous work on the fantastic yearbook. Thank you so much. We'd also like to thank Mr. Merriweather and all the site team, Ms. Blackie, Mrs. Day and Ms. McSween as well as all the parents and teachers who have given up their time this evening to celebrate with us. So now, please welcome back to the stage, Dr. McCauley. Well, we now come to the point of the evening where we award the special awards for this academic year. And the first award is for the female student best progress overall for 2014. Now the prize for the female student who's made the best progress this year goes to a student who has been described by every single one of her teachers as polite, respectful, mature and hardworking. But it doesn't stop there. She makes a positive contribution to lessons by sharing her ideas and in some subjects makes an effort also to support her fellow learners. 
She's made significant improvements this year, and in English, she worked hard to improve her, co her coursework up to her target grade. In French, though, the transformation since the start of her GCSE course has been outstanding. She was lacking in confidence at first, but now she has real belief in her abilities, and she's shown a strong determination to succeed in her GCSE. But across the board, her teachers have all really enjoyed teaching her. But her determination has also been recognised by her history teacher, who made a special comment that says, although she's a very unassuming student and quiet by nature, she is highly valued by the department. She's valued, in fact, by all staff and her peers alike because of her consideration towards others. And she's incredibly positive towards her learning. So, the female winner of the Best Progress Award for 2014 is Rihanna Davis. <laughs> Progress Award for male. And the prize for the male student who has made the best progress this year goes to a student who's dedicated, hardworking, with truly exemplary attendance and punctuality. He's got a really positive can-do attitude and he's achieving really high grades in all of his subjects, most notably though in business studies, media studies and French. He's always courteous, he's pleasant, he's a pleasure actually because I speak almost daily to him, nothing ever phases him. He'll persevere at a task until that task is complete. He also plays the piano. He's a keen swimmer. He's also, even at this age, managed to work as a journalist for a magazine called Limelight. He recently won the Jack Petchy Award. He's donated. <laughs> He's not getting off the stage, though. I've got even more to say about him. As you know, he recently won the Jack Petchy Award. He's donated the prize to the Learning Support Department here at Crystal Palace, which will go towards equipment that many other students in the future will benefit from. And that is a typically thoughtful act. But the staff here at Crystal Palace have been inspired by so many things, by his diligent and conscientious approach to academy life. But, as many of you here who've been with him for a long time will know, his achievements are all more remarkable, given that he has a really severe visual impairment that makes the task that many of us take for granted every day a real challenge for him. But he's flourished here over the last five years. He's overcome every hurdle in a truly inspirational way. So as you can see here, the best progress award for a male student this year goes to Terrell Azir. <laughs> the BBC in here yesterday. In fact, we ended up being on the uh, London News, BBC London News at 6.30 last night. And uh, if you haven't seen it, it's still available on iPlayer. But uh, 
In with Lord Harris for that visit with the BBC journalist was uh, Sir Dan Moynihan. And those of you will know that uh, Dan Moynihan is now the chief executive of the Harris Federation. But he also, of course, is a former principal here of Crystal Palace. And this next award is given in his name for the student who has contributed the most to the wider academy community beyond their academic achievement. Now, although the student this year who's won the award is, is hardworking, for example, they've improved their maths from a grade D to a grade A, which is amazing, they are also a really popular member of the acad academy community with everybody, with students and with staff. They're also really popular with the younger students because of the work they do with them. As an excellent role as a prefect, this student has repeatedly spoken in academy assemblies, which is a very daunting task, led a very thought-provoking faculty assembly earlier this year, that was for Holocaust Memorial Day, has been a valued member of the school council, and yes, you guessed it, the Sir Dan Moynihan Award goes to Liban Dahia. And so, the award that everybody's been waiting for this evening, Harris City Academy Crystal Palace Student of the Year Award 2014. It's always incredibly difficult to make this decision as a staff. Uh, lots and lots of discussion. However, the winner of the Top Academy Prize this evening has been described as a truly exemplary role model. An independent student, the possessor of an intellectually curious and inquiring mind. A student who is interested in learning for learning's sake and an absolute pleasure to teach. They're a student who always gives 100%. Who comes into the academy with a smile every morning without fail and shows genuine enthusiasm in a wide range of lessons. A talented scientist, an inquisitive reader of literature, a gifted writer, the list goes on. They're also a fantastic artist. They work way, way beyond their GCSE level. Indeed, I was thinking about this actually yesterday when I was writing this. And they, having looked at the artwork, would make a, a fantastic career as, as an artist, if it were possible to fit it around also being a medical doctor. Now, not only is this student academically gifted, but has taken the time to improve the lives of others helping out at soup kitchens and at a local food bank group, which shows her dedication to give back to society. Next year, she plans to continue her studies at the new Harris Westminster, where doubtless she will continue her successful academic journey. So the very deserving winner of the Harris City Academy Crystal Palace Student of the Year 2014 goes to Michaela James. <laughs> forward to this evening um, for a long time and of course you've got a very serious uh, serious important series of events to come and that is in fact your public exam some of them have actually started some of you have got a history exam tomorrow morning but but I want you to remember I want you to remember every day and for years to come that when you think back to your days here 
What was it that made you successful? And what did it feel like to be part of something like this? And you really have helped put this, this place on the map. Not just locally, not just regionally, but nationally. And for all the right reasons. And I am, as I've told you many times, immensely proud to be principal of this academy. And to have what I genuinely believe to have some of the best staff working here out of the seven schools that I've worked in. But in the daily student focus group meetings that I hold every morning here, you have relayed exactly the same feedback to me. The same thoughts and feelings about what the staff at the academy have done for you. And I'm really, really delighted about what you've achieved so far. Now, the majority of you will be moving on to sixth form here. We've got the greatest number applying, actually, since this sixth form was opened 18 years ago. Some of you are going to be pursuing vocational courses at college, and a few of you are going to be going elsewhere to the sixth form. But I would really like to take this opportunity at Year 11 to thank you personally for the real difference that you've made to the lives of students lower down the school, because you do. And I wish you every success and happiness in the next stage of your studies. I look forward to seeing you all with fabulous, great big smi smiles on your faces in August when you come back. Have a fantastic evening, everybody. Thank you very much and well done.